home. Oh, he's so cute. So if you haven't seen from our previous videos, um, we just have this Frankenstein <laughs> brooder box that we used for our layers. But we're just gonna use the same for the meat chicks. I'm gonna set that up real quick and then pop them in there. Daisy, come here. So since our last video, we also got two barn kittens. You would have seen in the outro, um, Daisy pop in <laughs> in the background if you noticed her. But yeah, we got little Daisy here and little Sunny. They're so cute. Hi, baby. So the cats, they stay, they'll be staying in here for the winter and we built this little cat house for them. It's uh, fully insulated inside and we've left it open for now because when, uh, oh my gosh, when Sunny first got here, she was a little timid. So we kept this open for her so she could kind of see everything and uh, got used to the barn that way. but. In the winter, we've got this piece that we'll screw on, so it'll be fully closed except for this little cat door. So that's their little house. Don't mind this mess, this is from the cats. They like to uh, play in the straw <laughs> and make a huge mess. We have some friends here. Oh god. Mm. I hate spiders. <laughs> ah, this this one's attached. Ah! Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Ew. Okay, so this is it. This needs to be cleaned. <laughs> Gross. A poo pancake. I'm just gonna pour some fresh shavings on top. They're fast growers, so they really shouldn't be in here for too long, anyways, but that should do the trick. No, you stay off, please, and thank you. Oh, frig. Oh, my God. I'm not dramatic. It's fine. <laughs> hmm. That's scary. All right. Got their food and water. There they are. So I'm wondering if I should put their brooder in here as well, actually. Their brooder's on this side. I might just do that because they're so tiny. Gotta do this quick because I have a crying baby inside.
So this is the uh, A-frame like swing that Olivia was talking about. So we figured it's already got the whole frame of it, so we may as well try to use it before we build a whole new thing from scratch. So we're gonna start off with uh, wrapping like this side and the other side with um, this this chicken wire here, and so we'll start with that and we'll go from there. So we got the two big sides uh, covered in the chicken wire and we got the back side Olivia's just finishing up now on it. Um, we're gonna leave this front side open for now because we need to figure out some kind of door system that we haven't really thought of yet so we'll see. But basically we're just gonna connect these two different uh, like the different sheets together so it's not a big hole in the middle. We're gonna screw the wood into the metal at the bottom just to make it uh, a bit more secure than just having the chicken wire just hang down. It'll kind of hold it tight and give us a good barrier against the ground. I got the bottom wood frame put on just these three sides for now because still trying to figure out what I want to do for the door for this side. Um, not really quite sure yet so that's why I'm kind of just leaving it off. Um, I connected these two different sheets just with some zip ties just down the middle just to hold them together. So basically the next step is I'm just gonna fasten the chicken wire to the inside of the wood that's basically what it's for so i can actually have a tight seal there i was gonna use like those u nails i don't know if you've ever used those but if you have you know that they suck so <laughs> instead of doing that i'm gonna just get like pieces of wood and space it out throughout the two by four and just screw that in and kind of sandwich the uh chicken wire between the two pieces of wood done that previously and it worked a lot better and quicker than hammering in all those u nails um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so we got all the sides closed in with the chicken wire. Um, <laughs> we thought about the door and we kind of just decided to not put a door because it's pretty light to begin with, so we can just like pick it up whenever we need to put new food and water in. And we're just gonna be putting them in there once and then taking them out once. So it's not like we're gonna be bringing them in and out all the time. So we figured it's easier just to wrap it in the chicken wire than make a door for it. So that's what we did. And like I said earlier, instead of using those U nails, cause they suck, we uh, just sandwiched the chicken wire in with uh, like another two by four. So like just in here and then we screwed it in so that Holds it pretty good. So our next thing is going to be to put um, some sheet metal on like half of it just to protection from like rain and wind for them. And then we got these wheels from our neighbor that we're just going to throw on the back corner so we can kind of just lift up the one edge and then just move it down every couple days so they have fresh grass.
Here's the finished project for now. Um, I'm thinking in the future I might put fill in this piece with tin, like the sheet metal. But for now I'm just gonna leave it open and so I'll see how it is the first night it rains, if it does get really wet in there or not. But yeah, this is it. It turned out better than I thought it was going to, honestly. Um, I'm pretty happy with it considering it's just like a bunch of scrap stuff that we had literally laying in the yard. So while I was screwing these holes for the screws, like through the sheet metal and also through this, like the pole of the swing set, I managed to break, I think, I think four drill bits in total. So that kind of set me back a little bit. Um, and I ended up breaking like the last size of the one that I needed. So I only had either bigger ones or smaller ones. So what I ended up having to do was drill the hole with like a smaller drill bit and then go back through and re-drill them all with like the broken bit, just the half of it that I had left. So uh, definitely not ideal, but we made it work and it turned out all right. So anyways, um, basically what's left to do is bring the chickens over and get them in here. I'm gonna first bring the chickens I'll throw them in there and then while they're in here checking everything out I'll get their food and water brought over as well hello Daisy So we had these chicks in this little brooder as well, just like the same as the laying hens. Just for the first little bit, it's easier to keep them in a smaller area, it's easier to keep them warm with the brooder. Pretty much the same things when we moved uh, the laying hens, we're gonna pile them in here and then we're gonna take them way back over there on the left side of the garage.
All right, we got them in the carrier, so let's go take them over. So they're a little bit unsure about coming out. They're slowly coming out. I think our uh, goose over here is kind of scaring them a little bit. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, so we just got the uh, food and water in here for them. And they're happy to have uh, this bigger food, it looks like. We had this one just sitting in the garage, so may as well use it for the chickens, especially because they're going to be for meat, so we want them to eat as much as possible. The more they eat means the more we get, so <laughs> sadly. Um, and then we're just using the same water that we had in the brooder, but because um, we don't have like a bigger one like the chickens have in their coop yet, so probably tomorrow, I think we're going to go grab a bigger one. So probably like a four times that size. So they'll be happy to have that too. Because I've noticed they drink a lot more water than uh, our laying hens did. And there was like quadruple the amount of the laying hens. So it's just uh, funny to see that. But all right, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video of us you know, getting meat birds and turning a swing set into a chicken tractor. Hope it gives you guys some ideas for, I don't know, DIYs, what you can do. Find some stuff around your house before you go out and buy stuff because online we're looking at some of these and they go from anywhere from like $1,000 to like $4,000, which to me is insane for just a little caged in area for some chickens. So we save some money by doing it this way, which it's always a plus for us. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching guys, we appreciate it, and see you in the next one.